what a fail i literally went upstairs to get my camera to film some of my workout and read that no card we're back in the kitchen we're finally on my camera because it's finally charged but of course my little light is not charged i'm literally like i've been so busy i just haven't like been charging my stuff apparently but anyways um got my workout done we took out the trash took the recycles did the litter we have two loads of laundry going i loaded the dishwasher unload the dishwasher and i'm washing all my fruit and i'm almost done with my like reset for the night i kind of plan out my week ahead of time when my schedule comes out of like what days are going to be like heavy chore days heavy errand days relaxing days heavy work days so this week monday and wednesday are my two doubles and I kind of don't do anything those days because I work 9 a.m. till about 8, 8.30. So when I come home, I literally just like shower, eat dinner, get into bed. I really don't do much on those days. So that was yesterday. So then today was my only short shift. So I worked till 3.30 today. And I knew I had to run all my errands and then do a bunch of chores because the rest of the week I'm pretty busy. I just kind of knew today was going to be a heavy errands and chores day. But I'm feeling really good because I got a lot of stuff done. I'm not done yet. I'm probably giving myself about 45 more minutes to like, put a timer on and get as much done as I can. And then once that's over, shower, make dinner, and just chill for the night. But my coworker actually got me a gift for getting into the teaching program. And I'm about to, I mean, I've already opened it, but I'm about to take it all out and like put it all away. So I figured I'd show you guys that. It was really so sweet, but I got into the UNCW teaching program this summer which is super exciting if you guys have been watching my vlogs i've been posting and like talking about like having to pass spanish because in north carolina you need three years of foreign language where in florida you didn't so that kind of set me behind that was unexpected and i had to take another lab class because my biology lab that i took to get my AA degree didn't count in north carolina literally just crazy like switching schools in between states is not fun but anyways i did all my requirements i passed my praxis test and i am now in the program so i start actually in like i think three weeks and yeah so she got me this little gift which is literally so sweet and so unexpected but i have to show you guys my favorite thing first she got me these little like apple hair clips are you kidding me these are the cutest things ever it's like they're like little mini claw clips she also got me a bottle of like this italian raspberry sparkling i don't know if it's like a champagne or what but it's also really pretty and i can't wait to go to my bar card she got me a cute little card this little apple headband so freaking cute and last but not least a little winnie the pooh mug because we're talking about winnie the pooh one day and i just think this is so cute look at it i know it doesn't have to do with teaching but also it kind of does because i feel like teachers always have cute mugs in our classroom but anyways let's clean up <laughs> finally cooking dinner i'm actually making like a double batch of everything so i have something for tonight and then tomorrow for lunch because i work another double like i said so in here i just have some zucchini mushrooms and onion just for some veggies i'm going to make some mashed potatoes and then i have some sausage right here this is the sorry, i'm trying to get the package this is the sausage i'm using from aldi i just like it and yeah we're gonna make some dinner good morning friends i feel like this whole vlog is being filmed in my kitchen but it's really early hence my like face i feel like when i first pick up my face looks so funny but um i'm about to get ready for work i'm going to pack my lunch and then make my breakfast and also we're gonna try a blueberry matcha for the first time um obviously i work at olive garden i work on the to and catering team while finishing up my degree so that's where we're going Okay, let's give it a taste test. Not my pantry being open, but looks beautiful. That is good.
Good morning, guys. It is now when Thursday. Uh, I just am feeling so like, and I don't know. You're probably first of all like, what the heck? You literally filmed like a clip yesterday saying good morning, whatever. Went to work and then never saw you again. But let me tell you what happened. And then I ended up being at work for a really long shift, longer than my normal doubles, but because we had some like paperwork and stuff to do and then I had to change my availability for my fall semester. So anyways, by the time I got home, I was so tired and I just kind of didn't, not that I didn't feel good, but my head kind of hurt. Like I was just sluggish because I didn't really eat like well because I didn't eat my lunch or anything. So energy level, was, it was just like a day. So I literally came home, did chores really quick because it was like trash night and stuff, and then went straight into my bed and like ate and then fell asleep. So that is why, and I kind of feel like a failure because I really wanted to film this week of my life and I feel like it's turning out not good yet, but I feel like the ending, like starting today, is like busy, like I have actual things to do, not just work, so like stuff that I can actually vlog and like talk to you guys about. But yeah, I just think it's hard because I, ever since my husband has been gone, I've been like in a very weird mood, like 99% of the time. And so I'll keep starting vlogs or like videos in general. And then I'm just in this like weird slump. And then I don't want to film anymore because I don't want to like put negativity out on my channel or just like in general. And then I feel like my videos aren't exciting, but I'm just like in this weird slump. You know what? I, get, I think I'll do my makeup, like get ready and talk about this with you guys. Kind of like a little mini get ready with me. I just want to apologize because I know the lighting is not the best in here. But remember the other day when I said my little like, you know, the little clip on light that I use um, is dead. I forgot to plug it in. So I literally plugged it in this morning. So anyways, let's talk about like this like funk that I'm in. Long story short, my husband is in the military. I feel like I've said that a million times, but I feel like there might be any people who don't know that. Um, and so he's gone right now for some training. He's been gone for about a month. And it's just kind of hard because I'm in a town that I don't particularly love, honestly, which is like fine. Um, and it's not permanent. We're only here for a few more years, but I don't have like any family here. Obviously my family is all like 12-ish hours away um, and I can't like just go home when my husband is gone a lot of people do which I think is like super cool but I personally can't because I have a job here I'm in school here I have animals like it's just not easy to just like pick up and be like I'll be back like so I'm kind of like stuck here in a sense and I do have a few like work friends but I don't have anyone that's like I'm super close to yet I mean I hope I eventually do make some like closer stronger friendships but like at this moment in time it's just a lot of like feeling alone and i'm like totally independent i honestly love my alone time i like doing things alone but like that was my hometown so like living here where i don't feel comfortable and like there is a lot of like bad areas even though it is a military town like it just doesn't make me want to like go shopping alone or go outside alone because it's just a scary world and i feel like a lot of people can relate to that and on top of that i just feel really stressed out with like my upcoming school semester because now that i've started like i'm in the program which doesn't get me wrong i'm so excited i feel like i've literally been in college for forever and to finally be done with like all my prereqs and all my testing and stuff and like get to start what I'm actually like going for is so exciting but at the same point like I don't love change I'm very much a routine girly so this is like scary for me and then not to have my partner here to like kind of distract me like I feel like it's all I'm thinking about right now is like what is this semester gonna bring what do I have to do anyways there's like that's another part that's kind of like stressing me out putting me in a weird mood so even though school like my summer semester was over and I thought I'd be like really Relax and having a good time. It's kind of like the opposite because I'm anticipating like what is fall gonna bring then on top of that I just feel like being alone In this house like I have so much responsibility, which um Like I don't know not to be like controversial but like my husband and I personally we split almost everything half and half like chore wise responsibility wise like whatever errands and so to kind of just have everything fall on me which obviously is not his fault it's just kind of i'm just venting about like why everything feels so overwhelming because like little mundane tasks are like not little and mundane when it's like you have to take care of everything on your own so like i'm going to work like yesterday i worked like nine and a half hours and then i come home and i have to like take all the trash out for trash night and scoop the cat litter and do the dishes and it's just like 
on top of feeling sad and lonely and like wishing he was back there's also just like this I'm not like I can't catch a break because I'm going to school going to work doing all of the household stuff so it's just putting me like in this weird mood but I'm just overall feeling like I'm in this weird funk because I thought once my summer semester was over my husband wasn't gonna be here and I have like all this free time that I would like film all this content and like get so much reading done and like so far I've only read one book in August and like every other month by now I would have read like two or three and like obviously it's not about the amount of books you read but the point is like I'm almost not like I'm almost less productive this month because I think that I'm like in this slump of like being alone stressed out overwhelmed I think I have so much to do like by myself and I just want to kind of talk about that because yeah that's just what I'm going through right now and that's kind of why my content is lacking and then like I keep starting all these videos like I've started a million reading vlogs I've started other regular vlogs and then I'm just in this mood and then I don't want to film anymore so I feel like talking about this right now and posting it in this vlog will maybe help me get that off my chest and then maybe I'll feel a little bit better so yeah let's go make a to-do list of the things I'm going to get done today while my hair air dries a little bit then we'll blow dry it we'll go to the vet and we'll get these things done and hopefully have a better day and like again we're just on the mend of this being over it's just like this weird funk we just need to like push through. before we go make my to-do list i forgot to show you guys this my mom got me also i'm washing my like top quilt thing um and i think the lighting is so bad in here but my mom sent me a little amazon gift yesterday and it says hold on it's like in the package and i could take it out but i didn't but this is like a little keychain and it just says she believes she could so she did and it has this little apple and like i think it's a ruler so it's obviously like made for teachers which my mom used to tell me this quote all the time when i was little so it's just so cute oh wait it's coming now but anyways this would be cute to put on like my teacher key lanyard thing whatever that is a thing but then she also got me these earrings i'm literally obsessed so the first pair is just these like pencils and they just say teach on them i don't know why my camera's not really focusing but you get the gist and then these that just say teacher and they're like so colorful and cute and i'm getting my nails done tomorrow so I'll stop looking at them but i'm literally obsessed with these earrings and i can't wait to like student teach and stuff and get to wear them Mr. Gray, are you ready for your shots? Okay, I'm so sorry because I know my dishwasher is loud, so I'm gonna talk for like one minute and then we'll just do some music clips. But I obviously showered, I'm in my pajamas, and we're gonna make some cake. So I think I'm gonna start with just the vanilla because I have two vanilla and one chocolate right now. I'm gonna try and make as much as I can tonight without having to go to the store. And then I think I need to get from the store, we'll do tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna start making vanilla first and seeing how many cake pops that will make. So let's do a little time lapse of me making some great value cake. Okay friends, it's now 8.30. I just got into my bed. So I made the cake pot balls. So basically I just mixed the frosting in and made them into balls and I put them in the fridge like wrapped in tin foil. We're done for the night pretty much is what I'm saying. I'm going to sit in bed, read my Kindle and then probably call my husband if he's able to talk tonight. I also need to get a video uploaded. So I need to edit a thumbnail and whatnot. So we're just doing some minimal work and going to go to sleep. Um, so I'll probably pick back up with you guys tomorrow morning bright and early to bring Mr. Leo to the groomers because he is a long haired cat who gets his butt fur matted. Good morning friends. I just had my breakfast and I honestly just went on the couch for like a good hour probably and had a very chill morning which I was actually supposed to go to the groomers at 9 a.m. so I had woken up early and they actually had to cancel because I guess the groomer went home sick. 
and the next appointment is in for two weeks from now so i just had a chill morning which i wasn't expecting but it's now 11 o'clock and i have a nail appointment at one o'clock so i need to go get my workout done i'm gonna go change into a workout outfit and i think we're gonna do just full body today hopefully like a quick 35 minutes so we can like get ready for the day and get all this stuff um started Radio just died. We'll power to get through the rest of this. We're back home from Target Holiday in the nail salon. I'll give you guys a haul and then I have a bunch of work to start getting done. Let's do a quick haul. I have to make lunch and then we need to dip all these cake pops. It's already four o'clock because my nail appointment took forever. And yeah, I'm assuming we'll probably go to the restaurant around nine or 10. So. Hope I can get a bunch of stuff done. Okay, I don't know if this angle is like too far away, but let's do a quick haul. I got a bunch of chocolate chips for melting. They didn't have the chocolate, what the heck? I actually got butterscotch and I did not mean to get those. But anyways, I got a bunch of chocolate for melting. I got these almond flour little cookies. They're really good for my Ninja Creamy mix-ins i got some lunch meat of turkey because i kind of want to have a sandwich today i also got these mango habanero pickles as well because i figured a sandwich would be a really quick easy lunch since i'm busy i got two more packs of turkey that i showed you guys in the first haul of this video because they're just really easy dinners to have on hand i got another bottle of olive oil because i was out i got another thing of fair life because that's the milk i use for my ninja creamies and whatnot I got two more Greek yogurts. And then the last things I got are these two cold foams, which I've been seeing people post about, which I usually make my own cold foam, but I thought this were kind of cool. It was mocha and sweet vanilla. So it's a whipped cream, but it's a cold foam. So I got those and then I had to buy a new bag because I forgot my bag here. Okay, first off, yeah, I had to buy a book. I actually haven't bought a book, I think all month, which is really surprising, but I have been reading a bunch on my kindle so i let myself buy this book i got in the likely event by rebecca yaros i'm actually reading the last letter by her right now and loving it so i thought i don't know if this is a new release but i felt like this wasn't out yet i'm gonna have to like fact check that but i don't know i think i might save this for my trip because i like to have physical books on trips i don't know really excited for that didn't need it but i got it um the reason i was in the book section was to buy a baby book um we're doing buying a book instead of a card for the baby so i got you're my little bookworm i thought it was so cute and tell me why i wanted to buy it for my own future kid because like hello i'm a bookworm but anyways i thought this was very fitting for my personality so we got that i got a plain gift bag which hopefully the gift fits in some loofahs for me and zeke because i threw ours out because they were just old and i feel like you need to replace them often I also got a big thing of body wash. I got the Method coconut one. I really like it and I'm out of my body wash. I also got this Aveeno eczema cream. I'm going to try this out because I think I have eczema patches. I don't know. My mom has eczema. I haven't been diagnosed with it, but I'm thinking like the stuff on my chest might be eczema. So I'm going to try this and then obviously if it doesn't work, I'll like eventually go to a doctor, but we call that. And last, I got some stuff to put in the baby's gift. So we got some Aquaphor diaper rash cream and then these just like cleansing little wipes. Um, I got her the diaper caddy off of her registry, which I'll show you guys like later when I pack it all up and stuff. And I got some other stuff. I'm just kind of putting some cute little random things in there and I just feel like that'd be good like filler. So I'm gonna pull this away, make a sandwich, and then we're gonna clean up the kitchen and melt some chocolate and get these cake pops going and rolling. So what a day okay, so i just dipped all the sticks so if you don't know when you make cake pops if you dip the stick in chocolate and then let them sit for about 30 minutes before you dip the whole thing in chocolate it just helps them stay on the stick and whatnot so i just did that. what a night it has been i do in fact feel like crying it's also really dark in here my light is upstairs and i'm just not going up there right now i'm so tired and i still I have stuff to do so basically my cake pops were kind of a fail and i've made cake pops before i don't understand they kept falling off the stick and i don't know if it's the chocolate i use because the chocolate i use is not the normal chocolate i use but my aldi stopped selling the chocolate that i've always used so i don't know if it was that i did get some out of the batch 
but literally like less than half so this is how many we had and then i was like well that's not enough um for everybody excuse me so i was like crap what can i make like, i obviously don't have a bunch of ingredients i can't go to the store like it's late so i made a bunch of my brown butter chocolate chip cookies if you guys have seen it like went not viral definitely not viral but it popped off on my tiktok um anyway so i made a bunch of them i have three trays they're literally all cooling off over there it's now 9 30 and i'm about to head out in probably like 10 minutes to go to the restaurant i'm meeting up with one of the girls Haley. the other girl is busy tonight and i think we're gonna like blow up the balloons and stuff tonight i kind of to be honest i don't want to go but I, I told her i'd go and i have like the balloon blower up so i have to she's going but i just have to wake up really early tomorrow for this and i've just been feeling really tired the past few days but it's whatever it's gonna be fun it's gonna be exciting so i got my desserts done and that was like really stressful and i don't know why but i think i'm gonna like pop some shoes on and head on over to the restaurant i literally can't even see you she's in there <laughs> Okay, my camera is dead and I'm literally so tired. I have my hair pulled back right now because I like to let the front pieces set before I tuck them by my ears. But I'm ready, I'm about to pack up the car and head on over. It's like eight something. <sighs> I'm freaking tired, but we got a lot of stuff set up last night. So I didn't show you guys too much, but I will today. I'll show you like everything. So we have our cookies, we have our cake pops, and then I have over there the gift and then a bunch of stuff I need to bring. So we need to load up our car and today is sponsored by an energy drink because I'm so tired. Put the hair up because I'm literally already sweating. But it's looking so cute. I'm not talking about because they're training people and I don't know them, they might think I'm weird, so. Alrighty, friends i'm back home as you can tell and i'm going to insert all the photos right here of the shower so i think i took like one clip of when i started decorating and then people started showing up really really early and so i didn't get to film like video clips of everything i did get pictures but um a lot of the people that came early were actually her husband's friends like other marines that we don't know so it wasn't like our work friends so i obviously just to be respectful of people's privacy like i don't know them so i didn't want to take videos and like they were obviously like everywhere but i have some photos of all of our decor and then some photos of Lindsay and my friends and it was so much fun i feel like she really really appreciated it and it turned out really good like for just some three friends throwing a little baby shower um it was really so much fun i am so tired though and i have to go to work in like 45 minutes so i came home and i threw my pajamas on because i was just uncomfortable and i just finally washed all of the rest of the baking dishes and like just kind of cleaned all that up because i felt like my house was just such a mess but i'm just gonna literally sit on the couch and like in silence for the next 30 minutes so after you go to work my social battery is just feeling so low because i'm so tired and like whatnot which is fine i'm very thankful that i had a fun like jam-packed weekend especially with my husband being gone like it's exciting to be busy but yeah since i have to go to work soon i'm just gonna chill and i think i'm gonna end off this little week in my life today because tomorrow i'm definitely sleeping in to catch up on sleep i feel like i just haven't been getting good sleep so i'm going to sleep in tomorrow and then probably just go straight to work after nothing crazy so not nothing to vlog tomorrow plus this video is so long but let me know if you guys like my week in my life vlogs i feel like i like doing them one so i can document and watch back i literally have videos i mean they're like all privated but from like middle school and high school and like freshman year of college like all of that so it's just fun like getting to watch them back myself but also i feel like i don't want my channel just to be books like obviously it's a huge part of my channel but i also want you guys to just like get to know me personally and whatnot and yeah i think this is a season of my life that i want to remember because we'll only be here for like a little bit three and a half more years um so yeah next week is definitely a more chill week i think that i just have I think I only have an eyebrow appointment on Monday and I don't think I have anything right now planned for the rest of the week except for just work. And then the week after that I think is crazy because I think I have school starting. I don't know if my hair appointment is that week, but with school starting, that's gonna be crazy. And then the week after that we have school starting. Hopefully my husband should be coming home. 
um all that i have a hair appointment and then the weekend after that we're going to chicago to see my brother graduate maybe boot camp and i'm literally so excited like wanting to see my brother but also to go on like, a fun trip but yeah that will definitely be a whole vlog in itself but thank you guys so much for watching this week in my life i feel like it was a little chaotic but hopefully me being a little bit more vulnerable with my emotions and opening up about a hard time and just kind of a season of loneliness um it's just a little bit more relatable so yeah with that being said i'm gonna go relax for the next 30 minutes before we have to go back to work and i'll see you guys in my next one